Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki, and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I'd like to talk about the data glossary that's available within the Azure Data Catalog. Now, if you're just getting started with the Azure Data Catalog, the terms glossary and catalog might get interchanged, and so I just want to talk about that a little bit. The data glossary is a feature of the catalog, so you don't need to use the glossary to get started with the catalog. In fact, the best way to get started with the catalog is by registering some data sets, some data assets in your catalog. And then you can use the data glossary to put some definition around terms that can be used as tags. When you create an entry in the data catalog, the person creating that entry can create a tag, but that tag doesn't have any additional metadata behind it. So what you can do with the data glossary is define more detail about a term, and that term then can be used as a tag. And so now if you add an asset to your data catalog and you tag it with a glossary term, then people who are viewing the catalog, when they hover over that tag, will get a tooltip with a lot of metadata uh, and business definition that's been input by maybe a subject matter expert within your organization. So again, you don't need to use the glossary. Uh, in fact, it's not available in the free version of the catalog. That's something that's available in the pay standard version. But it is a really nice way to, to put more context um, around your data for your catalog users. And so just wanted to uh, do a quick one here, just again, describing the, the difference, if you will, between the glossary and the catalog. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the Azure Data Catalog, uh, data architecture in Azure, please reach out to us and let us know. Thank you. Have a good day.